The latest in the Ringer Dykes case is a guilty plea from the company's former chief financial officer. The charge is conspiracy to commit wire fraud. Our Tori Larned joins us now with a look at why Shane Smith took that deal. Tori. Well, last week, federal prosecutors charged Shane Smith with the crime, and now his future could be spent behind bars. Page after page. A detailed depiction of why Shane Smith, the CFO for Rager Dykes Otter Group, signed a plea deal Tuesday for conspiracy to commit wire fraud. Federal prosecutors in Amarillo accuse him of committing floor plan fraud. A floor plan is a kind of loan that covers the cars at dealerships. The complaint states, under Smith's direction as CFO, Rager Dykes borrowed more than $27 million on cars Rager Dykes didn't actually have. The second complaint against Smith? Check kiting. This is a scheme that moves money between checking accounts to make it look like the accounts have money when they actually don't. While Smith's name is the only one typed into this federal document, it's still quick to mention possible co-conspirators who helped him commit fraud. Smith's plea deal holds him responsible for these crimes and $50.1 million in losses. Under the plea deal, Smith faces a maximum of 20 years. He'll be sentenced at a later date. Jail records show Smith is not in jail. His conditions of release include not committing another crime, providing a DNA sample, turning in his passport, and staying in Texas.